A research by the Africa Research Institute has revealed about 5.5 million people in Ghana live in slums. The research indicated that growing numbers of slum dwellers makes it a powerful uh, powerhouse that will soon play an important role in Ghana's politics. Ghana is said to be one of Africa's most urbanized countries. In the past decades, the number of city dwellers is said to have risen from 4 to 14 million, while an estimated 5.5 million people, representing 35%, live in the slum. This development, experts warn, could result in an urban crisis if immediate steps are not taken. Infrastructure, affordable housing, public services challenges have been blamed for the development. A research paper by African Research Institute has revealed slums will play an important role in Ghana's politics. The survey, conducted in 16 slum communities in 2013 by African Research Institute, revealed 95% of the respondents had voter ID cards, 24% had passports, 48% owned bank accounts, while 42% had national IDs. Two-thirds of slum dwellers were also employed in the informal sector. The research, on the contrary, saw slums as a center of opportunity rather than a criminal hub. You think about a place like Nima, Mamobi, these areas have incredible commercial activity. There's so much potential for, uh, you know, uh, taking that human capital, that human skill, but also kind of a financial incentive. There's opportunities for taxation. There's opportunities to uh, have those people be part of a vibrant state. But as it stands now, they're seen as a problem. And if we start thinking about these people as a potential solution to a better city, um, I think there's a way forward. Despite having an active multi-party system, the research indicated democratic governance was not benefiting the public. Problems of accountability, institution autonomy and ineffective central governance control are stifling the country's development agenda. But the problem about urbanization, why is KMA not able to deal with urbanization, for example, the, 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 the negatives that urbanization has generated? We want to sanitize the central business district. Why has the NPP, with the modernization of the capital city, why have they failed to modernize the capital city? They have failed, as we said, because of the nature of our political system and the way we structure our decentralization. The research also describes slums as products of failed policies, bad governance, corruption and dysfunctional land market.